Thank you so much for joining me for Stamp Around UK Video Hop. My name's Esther, Stampin' Star Creations. Please do check out the other participants for this theme and this month it's on romance. So today I'm going to show you how I made this vintage inspired card using Posted For You and these colours for my inspiration. Crumb Cake, Balmy Blue, Old Olive and Poppy Parade. So using Crumb Cake for all my stamping and I'm stamping the word a love in the corner of my page and I do it at the corner so that when I come to use this heart punch I can fit that together in the corner and it uses less paper because it tucks in the corner of the heart as well. The word love just neatly fits across that uh, heart shape which is ideal. I love using this postage stamp for detail in the back and it just says special delivery on it and it gives a nice detail to the background. Then coming in with these lily flowers from the same stamp set and still using the crumb cake to build up my image for my vintage romance card. After I add this third flower I think mm, it looks a little bit crowded there and it hasn't quite come out how I wanted it to. So I have a little think and I decided to um, add some more flowers. <laughs> so I thought well maybe I can continue it and just fill that corner up with flowers now <laughs> because it's too late so just going to keep on adding. So at this stage it does look a bit overcrowded but I'm going to carry on and keep working on it and we'll see how we end up. I stamp out the birds on a separate page and we'll come back to, to those in a minute. I'm then using my blender brush, picking up the ink and rubbing it on the edge of my card. Go in circular motions and I'm concentrating on the corners. So this gives a vignette look or more vintage look basically. So like you'd find on a, a vintage postcard or something. And then once you start uh, edging around one border, you need to do the others. So just edging on that heart as well. I'm afraid my thumb's in the way for this, but hopefully you can get an idea of what I'm doing. Using the Poppy Parade Stampin' Blend, I'm colouring the letter love or the letters for the word love very carefully because <laughs> they're very thin letters. Going in with Balmy Blue for my flower and Old Olive for the leaves. I usually start with a dark colour first and then fill in with a lighter colour. That helps to blend the two colours together. So I decided to do my little bluebirds. And then going in with a dark and the light Balmy Blue. So just these two colours you get a nice shading happening and I've added in a bit of the light olive, uh, old olive. To make this look even more vintage I'm using this decorative mask or a stencil and using whatever's left on my brush to brush over the stencil just in a row along my paper just to break up that pattern. And this just gives a nice background detail. I then had an idea about trying to use Versamark on here. Now I was feeling a bit brave and I thought what have I got to lose by trying this? So I'm dabbing my Versamark through the stencil and then adding heat and stick powder to where the Versamark was. I'm doing the bottom corner and I wanted a small detail in the top right hand corner just to balance out that pattern. Ah, <laughs> I had a bit of a mini avalanche onto my paper and I'm hoping that hasn't effect, affected my heat and stick powder where I've just gone and put it. Thankfully it didn't affect it. Heat and stick powder heat up a bit quicker than embossing powder does so you don't have to have your tool over it as quick. And very carefully opening my box I use for my gilding flakes and then I can stick it in there and start adhering any gilding flakes to my project. So the pieces in the box tend to be small leftover pieces, but if you've just uh, heat, heated and got that stickiness on your project, you kind of want bigger pieces really to have a good coverage over what you've just heated. 
the pieces break up the more you rub them and you just feel your way and you just want to pat them on top of the sticky places. I couldn't find my sponge that I normally use so I'm just using a bit of kitchen towel that I have in my craft room which comes out over and over again <laughs> and just using that to rub off any excess. The border still felt that it needed something to it so I'm running my Versamark ink along each edge of the card and I'm going to repeat the process with the heat and stick powder in the hope that it will give me a nice gold border as well. So I'm just butting up the card into the box and this is collecting all those small pieces so this is ideal for a border and it, it came out fine this is just the look I wanted and it's got this lovely gold gilding with the gold uh, gilding flakes. So for behind the heart I felt like it was getting a bit lost in the centre so I try a vellum heart with a matching scalloped punch but again it was still a little bit lost on my project. So I cut out a poppy parade piece and yes this is it, it gives much more of a pop to my heart and I put this matte layer onto some matching poppy parade card as well. Popping those up with some dimensionals and I'm putting the birds, the little love birds, I fussy cut those out and I'm sticking them on top of the word love. Me needing more on my card, I'm using some of this lovely mossy meadow twine and a little bow. So because this is quite thin, I'm just using some glue dots strategically in a couple of places under the bow, in the middle and then down the bottom to stick down that piece of ribbon. I try adding on these gold gilded gems but the ones I had left were just a bit too big and they looked a bit clumsy on my nice delicate vintage card. Thankfully I had some of these lovely little red ones left so I used those instead and I preferred the look of those. So there's my vintage inspired love Valentine's stroke romance card. I hope you enjoyed today's project and it helped you to learn something new. Please, if you're already not subscribing, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you hit the bell button and just make sure you press to all, you get all notifications of lives and uh, loaded videos. Thank you so much for watching. It's great to have your virtual company today. Please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this and comment below.